All right. And we are live. Hot toys. Hot toys. <laughs> <laughs> Up everybody out there in YouTube land. I am here with one of the newest people that contribute to MCE, my man Craig at Half Fast Reviews. Craig, what's up, man? Good to be here. Good to be here. Looking forward to it. So Enjoy the show. So I want to let you guys in on a little secret. So what happened was, <laughs> so yeah, so, so what happened was, um, after we did the last um, geek show, um, Craig had messaged me because I was just like so enamored with his um, hot toy display. I mean, it's just, it's just amazing. And if you guys haven't seen it, you need to go check out his channel so you can see all this stuff. I mean, it's, it's amazing from the Avengers scene to the date to, to the Dagobah. Um, also going to all the Star Wars scenes that you have. I mean, it's just, dude, I can't get that Star Wars scene out of my head with <laughs> um, the one with um, Grand Moff Tarkin and Vader where you oh, have yeah, yeah, yeah. the yeah. LCD in the back of them blow, blowing up Alderaan. I was mm -hmm. like, oh my God. I was like, I don't know how he does that. I, I listen. I don't even. I'm not. Listen. I am not. I am not what you call a creative person. Okay. If you give me instructions, I could build shit. But, <laughs> I but I can't do what what you and what um and what George do, does. You know, you guys are really two creative guys. I mean, George just did his room, which is freaking amazing. And then you do the dioramas, and I. I it's just. It's. It's amazing. Um. Appreciate it. But, but you messaged me and you were like, "Hey, you know, we should do a live stream, and you sh and you know, we should show people how to pose hot toys." And I'm like, "Well, fuck yeah, I want to know how to pose hot toys." I mean, after you look in your displays, you're looking at your displays. I like refer to you, your your expertise. You're like in my mind, like one of the fourth most experts. Thank you on, on posing. So. What we have today, we're not doing a Marvel Legend build a figure stream. That's going to be next week. What we're doing today is for anyone that's in here that is a hot toy collector, um, Craig is actually going to take the time and give us a tutorial on how to pose some of these figures, which is just absolutely amazing. So we've got three figures that we actually both have um, mm -hmm. that Craig's going to take us through on how to pose. So what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be posing uh, Captain America from the first Avengers movie, which Craig has in front of him right now. Um, we're going to be doing a Deadpool from the first Deadpool movie. And then we're also going to be doing Iron Man for last. Now, Craig has a different Iron Man than what I have, but it's still within the same realm. So yeah. with that being said, I just want to give a quick shout out to people in the chat real fast and say what's up to everybody. What's up, so people? So let's see what we got. We've got 39 people watching right now and 27 thumbs up. So thanks nice. all very much. So everyone in the chat, we've got Danny Veros. We've got Francis Oliver Morales. We've got Hugo. We've got Richard Melendez. We've got DK. We've got Danny Dolphin. We got my boy Chunky Swole. We got Joshua Kelly. We got, again, this is the greatest name ever. King Dingalong. Dingaling. King Dingaling. <laughs> That's Love my that. favorite. Yeah. We got Roberto Romero. Romero. <laughs> Morano or Marrero. Sorry if I butchered your name. We got Edwin Diaz. We got big. We got David Big Dog Rammy. We've got Jimmy Chonga Lord. We've got my man Revenge of the Pop. We got S.A. Badger. Seth Practice. Practice makes perfect. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We got my man Sick Mansion Collectibles. What's up, bro? Who else we got? We got Joshua Kelly. We got John. We got Bronx Collections. And we got Karen Overton. So thank you guys for joining us right now. Craig? Let's post some fucking hot toys. Nice. King Dingling will one day rule the world. I think. King Dingling one day will rule the world. <laughs> He'll rule the world with his Dingling. <laughs> right, so I'm going to put Craig on the big screen right now so he can present to you guys. There we go. All right. So very often you see just uh, museum poses. You know, I see this all the time in people's collections, you know, which is fine if that's what you want to do. But uh, people, I think, are afraid of the fabrics. In some figures like Deadpool, that's a legitimate concern. I think uh, with Cap, you can be a little bit more adventurous with him. So let's take just the static squared up pose. All right. 
if you take a photo and you're just like, you know, uh, yeah, you like it's a, what they call it, like a museum pose. Yeah, museum pose. You're totally squared shoulders. Totally, it's not a flattering look in a photo or in a figure, in my opinion. Again, there's nothing wrong if that's the way you want to display them, but I just wanted to show if you're very uh, anxious about, you know, any damage to the figure or whatever, just with some minimalistic uh, tweaks to this, what you can do. So I'm going to shift around a little bit here so that I can see what I'm doing to the camera. So again, just squared up. So let's take and pull the shield in just a little bit. All I'm doing is flexing. Uh, hopefully you've already figured. Uh, Seth and I were talking off air about how difficult it is to get the hand on the shield. So instead of trying to hook through, I'm sorry, am I too loud in the mic? No, no, you're good, man. Good. Okay. It's right on top of it. What I do is take and flex the hand out like this, and then you can get it around that strap without breaking the strap. So I literally will manipulate the hand like so, and then it'll regain its uh, elasticity there. So just a pointer. Um, so, all right, so just a little bit of bend at the elbow to, to bring it up to where he's like in a defensive type position. He's like, he's like, no, you, I will not allow you to penetrate me. You get, <laughs> right. you get the right. no, yeah. means no, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> right, right, right. So that's okay. That's better in my opinion. So you could do something as simple as just pulling the shield, you know, Something like this. Oh, I hear that cr that crinking of the arm. Oh, like, <laughs> All right, don't right. Break, don't break. <laughs> That's uh, probably the straps under there. But okay, <laughs> so let's do that. This is what I would do with mine if I was going for this type of shot. I would separate it from the body a little bit. So what you're doing there is giving a little bit of depth to it. All right, so let's make him look over the top of that, like so. Yeah. All right. So again. Just flat square is, eh. but if you give it just a little bit of angle there, you can still see all the suit here. But yet, it's already to me, that's much more interesting. Oh, that's, better, that's better than I. That's better than I had it. <laughs> that's way better than yeah. I, I had. Very, it. Yeah, yeah. very simple, and you got zero risk of uh, see, I damage. Had, I, had in my like opinion. I had him like with one arm up like this, and then the shield back like that, and it's like he's like no, no, you know, right, but it's right. Like, yeah, we'll go more dynamic in just a minute. So what people often miss or fail at that to me is everything about dynamics in it is waist articulation. So many times everything's just perfectly square. And if you see an athlete, like if you go and Google image a baseball picture, pitcher, a uh, football player or anything, all power is in your waist and your lower extremities. Uh, so so as as our good friend uh, Chubbs Chubbs would say, it's all in the hips. <laughs> all in the hips. That's right. That's right. All the thrust is in the hips, especially with that bootay. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, you be careful. That's America's ass. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, to portray uh, is it is the word kinetic energy stored up energy? Yeah. Um, you want to do opposites of things. So if you're twisting here with your, with your body, so like, so if I twist that, then I want the head to go opposite of that. So if you think about like a baseball pitcher, his yeah. head is going to come over that shoulder. He's so up. just putting a little bit of that twist in it, like so. And then maybe just a little bit of bow in the arm here. You could flip the wrist over. I'm totally winging this, so I don't have really a plan. It's all right. But, uh, you know, give him like he's bowing up, you know, type effect. Maybe step this foot a little bit forward. Yeah, okay. See, I like, see, I like that. That's, you know, that's that, that, that right there is also, that that's also a step, a step ahead for me where, as far as where I have him posed. I mean, like, listen, like I'm even embarrassed to pull him on camera right now. I'll just I'll just show everybody how I had him how I had him posed in my D top. Hold on, I'm gonna go full screen for a minute. I mean, look at that. Sure, that's pretty that's pretty freaking sad. Mm -hmm. It's like what's the matter? It's like what's the matter with you? It's like you don't want to play with me. You don't want to <laughs> you don't want to turn, turn me and make me look pretty. So when people come in the room, you know they see me. You know that's, that's that's how I feel right now. I feel like I let I, I let I let America down. 
That's basically how I feel right now. I let America down. <laughs> America's ass down. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so things to consider. In my pose, the shield is blocking a little bit of the outfit. You know, is that is that what you want to do with it? So let's let's see if I can duplicate what you're doing while you're talking. So we turn a little bit of bow in the elbow to bring bit. the shield in front of him. Okay, a little bit of bow. Oh, sweet mother of God. <laughs> and then pull, uh, let's see. Okay, so pull this shoulder uh, at the elbow, pull it to where it comes in front of him a little bit. Oh my God, I feel like I'm going to break this fucking thing. I'm never, I feel like saying, I feel like saying what Tiger King says right now. I'm never going to financially recover from this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I let's see if I hit that. What do you think? Good, good. I would uh, actually like that. I uh, uh, actually like yours better than mine. So you got a little bit more, like a little bit more up. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what was the scene uh, Civil War where him and Bucky are coming out? You know, you kind of yeah, got that. Vibe. Yeah, he's right. Yeah, he's running like that. Yeah, right, right. Uh, King Dingling is asking Seth, "Can you do a G Generation X crotch grab on Cap?" <laughs> you know, I hope you know wrestling, right, Craig? So you no. know, oh, okay. So Generation X was Triple H and Shawn Michaels, and they did this thing where they would put their hands in front of their crotch and you know go like go like that. <laughs> that's what he's you know. King Dingling's actually gotcha, doing. gotcha. Uh, yeah, I know the I know the the gesture. <laughs> uh, Lee, Lee Bay is, is saying, "I'd like to see how to pose Iron Man Mark Forty Three quarter scale by Hot Toys." Well. I think it's safe to say that I don't think either one of us have the quarter scale. No, awesome piece, but I don't know. It is. Um, hey, Craig and Seth, can you please show how to properly pose a mixed media cape? Thanks. Um, that might be something that's more in your real house. I don't own anything with a cape. Um, I believe in uh, Edna Mode from The Incredibles. No capes. <laughs> right, right, right. No capes. Um, so, uh, so are we talking mixed media on a statue or are we talking like on I Vader? Have, I, I have no idea. Okay. I, you, you lost me a cape. Yeah. You, you, right. had, you had me at hello. <laughs> right. Right. Um, and, and statues, I'm not a huge fan of the mixed media, like the Thor. Uh, I just loved it so much that uh, I bought it in spite of the cape, but uh, other figures I have like the Dr. Strange from Sideshow. Yeah. I'm uh, passing because of the mixed media cape. All right. I but, actually, uh, I actually like where we're headed with this. Okay, so um, so you got this look like what you did. I actually like the shield kind of up that, maybe bring it into his body a little bit. I feel like I feel like singing that song right now. Here comes Captain America with his mighty <laughs> shield. Right, right, right. <laughs> so to to sell the 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 block that you have there, let's drop his head just a little bit okay. to where he's kind of like looking out from under his. Helmet visor, uh, the eye holes in the helmet. Yeah. Okay. And then maybe a little bit more bow and bring it up in this arm. So this is the perfect opportunity to tell a mistake I made at one time. Whenever I first started doing that Avenger diorama, I had his arm up like this to punch. And somebody pointed out and they're like, I hope you don't throw a punch like that, dude. <laughs> 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 and, uh, I, I was like, much like that in real life, bro. Otherwise, right, right. I just beat. <laughs> and I was like, I've, I've never hit anybody in my life. Don't plan to, but uh, if I ever did, and I'm like going, okay, and I was like, oh, it's like, eh. <laughs> yeah. it's, like, <laughs> it's like, meh, meh. So the point of that being what I learned in that moment was, is I literally looked in the mirror and I was like, oh yeah, that's not the right uh, physics in that. So if yeah. you're going to punch, you come from here. And why is that? Because your bicep and your tricep has the power in it. And you want to be at a 90 degree angle on that punch, not up like this, because then you're incorporating these muscles that would tear and the person that you hit would probably laugh at you. <laughs> so, so not only are we getting a lesson on posing hot toys, we're also getting a les lessons in physics. On right? an anatomy, right? right. right. This is Which I know nothing about, but... I should retitle this video called um, Hot Toy Posing Slash Self-Defense Lessons. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, but uh, the point there would be is look at yourself in the mirror. You know, 
do a do a pose, you know, a bow up, you know, if you had a shield, what would you look like if you were going to do that and try to replicate that in the figure? You can learn by looking at yourself in a, a you know, a, a mirror dynamic pose. So maybe dropping the arms, maybe slightly below like that. That looks like he's bowed up, ready to fight somebody. Yeah. Okay. Now we haven't addressed the lower body. So I'm going to make come back around here where I can see. The Star Spangled Man with a Plan. I love posing my hot toys. Hot toys! <laughs> so maybe just a little bit of flex in the knee forward here. All right, and so his knee pad was trying to ride out on me, so I just twist the fabric there. All right. Uh, it hurts. It hurts to do this. <laughs> If you break it, I'll pay for yours. So. Oh, no, it's okay. It's <laughs> okay. All right. Come on, crotch grabber. Do your job. So it's like trying to get like the knee lined up. Ah, there we go. I think that. All right, I think I got it. There you go. There you go. I like that. Maybe a little bit more in that front knee. Give a little bit more flex forward. Like he's leaning his weight into it. What you want to sell is like if you're lunging at somebody, your weight is on that front foot. Yeah, so you want to. I think it. Ah, you got it. There we go. Right. So I've got like the foot just barely off of the stand right here. And then I've got this back one. This is very important to square up this back foot so it gives stability there. This fucking crotch grabber, I swear to God. Uh, one thing to do is to, to, all right, whenever you're posing like this, lift the stand all the way up like it's too high and then come back down with the figure until it touches. And then yeah. that, keeps the, that keeps the weight distributed there. Oh, there we go. There you go. There you look go. At that, look at that shit. Yeah, excellent. So see, already you've put weight into his body. You put believability into his body because he's got his weight on that front foot. He's got the shield up in a defensive posture, you know, uh, maybe just a little bit in your back, you know, his fist arm there, you know, would be there. Yeah. So Man, right, let's I, move. I'm looking at this right now and I just feel like going America. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gotcha. So, all right, so let's say that somebody looks at this and they go, well, it's covering up my figure. I don't like that, all right? I don't want so much of the, the uh, outfit done. So let's swap hands and let's go to the pointing finger. All right, so it's like, okay, so he's like, can I use this finger and touch your butt? <laughs> <laughs> the nose picker finger. Yeah, right. All right, so we got that. A pair of pliers works a whole lot better than uh, your teeth for getting these things out. Yeah, that's what I just did. I just used my teeth. Right. <laughs> that tip no. would have been useful about 20 minutes ago, Craig. Right, right. <laughs> not only we were not wearing masks, but we're slobbering on our hot toys. Yeah. <laughs> All right. America's finger is in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's say we've got a display of our Avengers hot toys and we want to portray that Cap is the leader. So go back to kind of a, a museum. Let's start squared up, just the regular museum. Okay. Okay. Okay, we we are there, America. Cool, cool. Now, one of the problems with Cap for me is that if you want to display the costume, you know, and see the full that, you're going to get the backside of the shield. So that's kind of a artistic, you know, uh, choice that you'd have to make on that. Yeah. So on this one, it's going to be more of a backside of the shield. So the flexibility is good here. As you'll see with Deadpool, it is not. So just extend the arm fully out like so. Okay. We to got, the side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's up there, yeah. And you can get feedback in the fabric, you know, 
Like if you like if I move the Deadpool, it's telling me don't do that. <laughs> yeah, you have to pull on a little bit to ease some of the tension at least. Right, right, exactly. Good point. Good point. So whenever you feel the tension there, you can usually work the fabric, you know, back to it. You'll see it bunch up. So just work it in whatever direction that. Uh, you see that everybody? I'm working the fabric. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're working it. We are so working it. <laughs> So what we're going to do is make him looking down the direction he's pointing, like, you know, he's given that. So we're going to turn the head to, to that, maybe bring it in just a little bit. So with these shoulder joints, you got to kind of feel where the ability to go forward is. If anybody's butts with them, they know what uh, I'm talking about. The joint has a, uh, rotation point. So you have to kind of feel that to be able to get it to go forward. Okay. So, so we got him pointing like that before I get too much further. What I want to do is let's see, like I said, I'm winging it here. So, all right, I'm going to turn his, what his torso and waist back this direction opposite of what the way he's pointing. Like so. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Now you could bring the shield up. You could leave it totally. I would think in this type pose, he would be totally relaxed. And what you can do is turn this in just a little bit to where you have maximum, you know, at least if you're like that, you can see the, the stripes and the star on the shield. Yeah, like I got you. So, yeah, kind of like. All right, so kind of like that. And then maybe you could put this, his right leg up just a little bit, back leg. Maybe something like that. And just keep turning that waist until you get that authoritative tight look. Now, another important thing is his sight lines. So if he's pointing something, he's going to be looking at that. You don't want him pointing one direction and then the head over here, you know, yeah, I think I, that, I think that I, loses the authority of, you know, like he's saying, go respect my authority. Right. <laughs> Avengers assemble. Y'all, y'all go on over there, you know, I want you to go that way. So very simple again, uh, taking the, uh, museum yeah. and tweaking it just a little bit. The only tension that I put is right here. And the feedback in the fabric was telling me that it was fine. You know, there's no. It's like a, it's like R. Kelly. My mind's telling me no, but my body <laughs> is turning me on. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. So that's two, I'll say, semi-dynamic -dy pose. Let's go for one that's more, more making Seth yeah. really nervous. I think more of like, a, like an action, more of like a, like a really hardcore action, action. There you go. All right, so what I'm going to go to is the pluck the finger off the open palm. Okay, okay, let's see what you're doing. And why I would choose this is because if you're bowing up to throw, you know, if you think about like yeah. a football player blocking or whatever, yeah, that's a natural motion to like a, a what do they call them in the Olympics? Uh, disc throwers. Discus, the, the discus. Yeah, discus, discus, yeah. So. See, I think I see this open hand, and, like, the first thing that comes to my mind is that he's going to put it up, and he's going to be like, yo, can I get a five-finger discount? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got the hand. We got the hand swapped out. Right, and we're already kind of bowed in – from what we just had, we already have the torso already turned here. Okay. So, so usually okay. whenever I start this, I'm kind of like was setting the figure and then showing you what was lacking. Usually the first thing I'll do is twist the waist. Yeah. That's, that's, like, that's where yeah. I start. Cause that's stored up energy. That's being dynamic, dynamic right there. So you already got it. You got the shield in the exactly where I was going. Yeah. So you're going like something like this. Yeah. Yeah. Extend that arm out and back. Because he's going to throw it on a, a level plane, like so. And you know what they never really touched on in the movies, in the Captain America movies, is like seriously, like 
His shield literally defies all the laws of physics. Right. <laughs> you know, it's like, how do you throw the shield, have it hit like five metal fucking poles, and then it just automatically comes back to you? Now, now that was in Winter Soldier, that was in Winter Soldier and like and the first Avengers movie, because when um when Age of Ultron rolled around, they had redesigned it to where he had like a magnetic, like a an yeah. electric magnetic thing on his on his arm, which when it was by him, it picked, you know, it, it picked it up. Right. But like, how do you throw it off of five poles, hit two guys, and then it still manages to come back to you? It just it defies the law of physics. Magic. Yeah, yeah. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> That uh, Age of Ultron is actually my favorite cap. And, my, well, I don't know. The Civil War is pretty cool too. My favorite, my favorite Captain America is actually from Winter Soldier, and it's the uh, the stealth suit. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people love that one. Yeah, I like it. My, Very that, cool. Winter Soldier is actually my favorite Marvel movie. That 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 I that that I have to I have to say. His uh, gauntlet bracer here kind of restricts getting. I've never yeah. done this pose, so I'm literally. Uh, experimenting here. So if you notice, there's kind of a scallop on the bottom side of the bracer here. Yeah. So you could turn it upside down, which is technically not going to be accurate. And that allows you to get a little bit of bow up with the, the wrist. Yeah, I got See it. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Which makes that upside down. So it's a little weird, but if you don't want to do that, then just a flat plane is fine. All right, so again, the waist is what's going to sell. The more you twist this, and I mean, it's fine. You can go way far away. Oh yeah, I mean, but, like, look at, yeah, but, I mean, like, look at the way that I got it now. I mean, that thing's like. There you go. There you go. He's he's like he's like I'm fucking cocked and ready to go. Right. So now, like, you got it sells kind of like he's going to launch well, it. I mean, up. I mean, yeah. I mean, he's going to launch it up. I mean, listen, yeah. we all know that it's going to come back to him through the right. power of magic. Right. right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, but uh, depending on what you're trying to portray, you could put the hand, head down a little bit, you know, to portray he's going to go more of that. I like yours where he's kind of. Yeah, he's kind of like pulled, like he's kind of like pulled back a little bit. Yeah. Right. Now, we got to work on the legs for this because, because let's see. See, you're, you're not selling power in your legs there. If a baseball player was to throw like that flat footed, they've got nothing going. So, again, raise the stand up come back down onto it a little bit. And what I would do is pull this front leg up a little bit. So when you're doing anything strenuous athletic or whatever, the wider stance you got, the more. I think I, think I got it. Yeah, more of a base that you got. Yeah. Very nice, very Thank nice. You. Look at you, man. You're a pro. I'm a poser. Yes. <laughs> I'm a fucking poser. <laughs> so you got a launch angle up. I've got kind of a. Well, I kind of, I kind of tilted his waist. No, up. I like that. I like that. I like, I like the fact that we got two different things going to the same yeah. exact pose. Now he's more. Now he's more even. Mm -hmm. I like. I liked what you had. He's like, watch out, bitches! The shield's coming. Right. So. He's like, I'm. I'm America's ass. <laughs> So you see how important it is if you do this exact same pose and he's got static legs, yeah. all of a sudden it's just, you know, it's there's like, nothing there. It's yeah, like you, you skip leg day. <laughs> right, right, exactly, exactly. So you can even, I mean, you don't even have to have his legs on the stand whatsoever. You so know. let's see what we got going in the chat. Let's see what we got. We got... We got America is on a make it or break it point. Many contexts exist. LLL, you got this stuff. Danny is saying work it. Ronald Rivera learning how to be a poser. Hugo is saying, dang, we're going to need John Cena pose. You can't see me. Revenge Pop is talk to the hand. Glass Babies is boomerang shield. Darth Clueless is saying vibranium. Richard Melendez is saying comic logic. And Hugo again is saying can't touch this. So, guys, <laughs> wrap up the Captain America portion of this. Now we're going to move on to everybody's favorite, the Merc with a Mouth, Deadpool. A very – so we went from a relatively easy figure to pose uh, 
that I'm not afraid to of the fabric or the um, structure of him. So pretty much the only criticism with the uh, that cap is he has zero uh, ankle articulation. So I do want to make people aware of a certain issue that actually me and Craig were talking about before we went live. Um, this Deadpool has um, – here, let me get myself up on the big screen so I can show everybody. So this Deadpool actually has really – it's completely leather, and it's got really bad – um, knee issues, as you can see from here, the side, you can see right here that the knee, that the, the, the knee pads peeling. Now, you know, we're talking about how we can fix this, but this is what makes Deadpool one of the more trickier ones to pose because the suit is leather and mm. you have less give with the leather than you actually do the, um, the fabric. So Absolutely. we're going to be extra gentle Yes. When posing this. So don't try to like give him like a jerking off motion or or you know anything 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 like that to where it's gonna it's gonna taint the leather. Now I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah, Deadpool is one that uh none of them scare me, I would say, but this is one I'm very cautious with because of the I think they call it pleather because it's yeah, plastic leather. So as I said, with cap, as you would stretch his arms, you can get feedback of the tension that, you know, it's okay. It's not a problem. Deadpool, you start moving him around and you can tell the suit is going, mm -mm, don't do that. So what can we do with it? It's uh, like, eh, motherfucker. <laughs> pardon? It's like, eh, eh, motherfucker. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. No doubt. You ain't, you ain't twisting my shit. So, but we can get from, you know, just a, Flat static. You got a pistol and sword. Yeah, I got a pistol. I got a pistol and a and a, and a sword out. Okay. So. All right. We'll go with that. So I right, can so go. Put the you can go with a little bit. So if you bend too much here, what you're going to get is stress, and I think this would probably turn white or look distressed over time. Yeah, like the elbow. The elbow isn't so. The elbow isn't so bad. It's more of the more of the knees more than anything. Yeah. 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 The knees are definitely a weak spot, but. Uh, we'll just say disclaimer to, you know, if you do any of this that damages your figure, it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so here, here's, the, here's, the, here's the disclaimer. So everybody knows that I already have, I always have a disclaimer in the beginning of my video. If you're under the age of 14, don't watch my shit. So basically <laughs> this is saying, if you fucking tear your hot toy, we're not responsible for your shit. All right. <laughs> Getting hate, hate mail. Yeah. You broke right. my hot toy, you fucker. <laughs> so one of the ways I had uh, actually it was a sideshow Deadpool that I think is a very cool thing that you can do with him that's low stress. And that's that he's just about to start fighting. So take this arm and come back a little bit. And what you want to do is you'll see that this pulls a little bit here. So just take that fabric and kind of take hand? the stress off of it. Push it back to the shoulder. Okay. Yeah. That's the gun hand. You feel that? Yeah. And then what I do is bend at the elbow just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is make this extreme and then kind of lessen it. So yeah. I bend at the elbow. And what I'm going to try to do is get the gun into the holster like so. And then if I don't know if you can see on my camera, but this is bunched up here. You don't want that. So what I do is take and pull that fabric until that. Stretch the leather a little bit. Yeah. Right. Gets up. Out I don't of know why I keep calling it leather. It's more like pleather. Like you yeah. said, yeah, it's ribbed for your pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> so and you can kick the elbow out a little bit, you know, to get away from his body, maybe turn this wrist down. So he's in the, the act of drawing the, the pistol. Yeah. So yeah, I got it. I got it. I got the pistol in the holster with the arm bent. Okay. A little bit. So, so you, if you turn him this way, if this was going to be your display way, you can't see that. So yeah. what my choice would be is to put that forward and then let's turn his head to that. And then maybe just a little bit of a torso bend there. A bend or a twist? Uh, excuse me, twist. Thank you. No, your bends and twists, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs>
And you can, uh, if you want a little bit of a forward lean. Yeah. But the main thing is you want to, in other words, he's drawing that weapon. You want to be able to, if you're going to display him on this kind of an angle to see that pistol draw, then yes, you want to. Yeah. See, that's actually pretty cool. I like that because like what we were talking, like what we were talking about before, um, before we went live, um, how I need to make space in my detoffs mm. and this is actually a pose I can put him in without having the base in there and the base taking up room. So this is, actually, this is actually a really good pose for that. And yeah. that's the other thing too. So for anybody that has like detoffs or shelves or anything that they have very limited space, but these, but some of these bases take up a lot of space. Um, like the base for Deadpool, the base for Thanos is pretty freaking big. The base for the Hulk's, are super big, but like for the Iron Man's and the Captain America's and some of the other ones, the bases are actually a little smaller, so they don't take up as much space. Right. But still, you know, you want to be able to pose your figure and not have. To, I want to learn how to pose these without having to rely on the base. You got the difference between the cap base and the. Uh... I, mean, I could show you right here. Let me put it up. Put you up on the big screen, so you can see Craig. So you can see the Captain America base and the Deadpool base. The 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 differentials of size. So if yeah. you guys are having you know space constraint issues, that that's you know you should pose your figures as if you can get them to stand on your own without relying on these, especially for saving space. Right. Exactly. Exactly. I would say it's about twenty five percent that this takes up of the Deadpool footprint. Yeah. yeah. I actually try to do one with this. It's kind of funny that they included a dynamic stand with Deadpool and you can't pose him dynamically too much. Well, you know, you know what's funny? And, and I don't, you know, and, and I don't, I can't speak for everyone else in the chat, but you know, when I go on, when I, when I'm looking on the internet and I'm Googling for like pictures of the hot toys and stuff like that, and you actually see the glamour shots that um, Sideshow you that Sideshow uses on their website. Mm. I'm right there and I'm like, okay, yeah. how the fuck do you pose it like that? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Speaking from like someone who has the figure already, and you know that it's like super delicate because of the le the the pleather and everything. You're like, how how do you do it without tearing it? There has to there there has to be some way. And it's like I would just. Oh man, it's just it's so frustrating because it's like you know they're lying. You know they're not yeah, exactly. It's all, exactly. It's all false propaganda. You yeah. cannot contort your figures in that position. Let's see the truth a month after it sat like that. And it's... Yeah, yeah, exactly. The, exactly. The month the month after people get their figures and they're like they're calling customer service. Oh, by the way, I tried to pose my figure this way, but the leather core because <laughs> was on your website can you send me a no one new one sorry yeah. sir, you're a fucking idiot and you should know the limits of your figure i'm sorry we can't help you exactly you know exactly. It's, like, it's like come on exactly totally agree all right what you got for what you got for the next pose uh actually i'm not done with this one if you want to okay. so what i would uh just thinking in my head as we do it let's let's do uh like i like the poses to tell a story so let's uh, step this knee just a little bit forward, a little bit more bend at the waist, and then we can turn the head. And now you've got the vibe of almost like he's looking around the corner. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe. All right. So depending again, let me come around here where I can see what y'all are seeing. It's, it's, telling, it's telling a story. It's like, it's like, Ooh, is Francis around the corner? Right, exactly, exactly. So maybe just a little bit of bend to get this katana out here, you know, like he's ready to attack. Not too much bend in that elbow. So, I'm, you know, I've got minimal stress here. I've got minimal stress here. Minimal stress, but you got to give maximum effort. Maximum effort, exactly. <laughs> I used that line in the Dr. Strange. Yeah. I don't know if you caught that when I was doing the... The deal. Oh, the, the helicopter dick? Yeah. yeah. I said maximum effort. Was maximum right. effort on the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> now, again, if you're in a detolf, you might not want the, this out like this. So what you can do is bring that sword in. Yeah, turn the sword know. a little bit. And, you know, and it's funny because that's the issue that I just had recently. Um, so everybody knows that I just did the review on my, uh, on my Thanos. I had actually had to buy um, these brackets to lower the shelf in the detolf to fit. Yeah, yeah. Some people do that. 
So I did. So I, I I did that thanks to my buddy um, Hildago, um, who gave me the information on that. So I did that. And the funny thing is, is that the freaking sword of Thanos is so mm. freaking big. No matter how far I push the figure back into the detoff, I still can't get the door closed. So it's like I basically had to put him in there with, right. without the sword. Hmm. So it's like I mean, like if I wanted to hear, like if I wanted to do his, you know. You know, just have him standing like in a museum pose with the sword straight up and down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would work. But I like to, to pose him like where he kind of has the sword out a little bit, and it, it's yeah. really horizontal, not not ver you know not vertical. And it, you... won't, it won't fit in there um, horizontal. It will fit in there vertically, but not but not horizontal. We'll do. We can do this off air. But what if you brought that arm in? Brought the arm in like so, yeah, like so the, that the like, sword sat kind of a forty-five, which I did. But like I said, man, the freaking sword, sword is so yeah, massive. it's massive. Yeah, you know. But with this, I actually like the uh, katana brought in. Oh my man, my man Hildago's in the chat. He's saying he's saying uh, time to get some uh, mod cases. <laughs> yeah, mod cases, right? It's like, come on, man! It's like yeah. I just bought the freaking detoffs and I'm buying. <laughs> Now you want me to stop buying hot toys and detoffs, and now you want me to spend like three, four hundred dollars on fucking custom cases. Hildago, what do you want me to buy, bro? I'm doing my best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those Maji cases are pretty awesome. I actually use some of the, his design and like my lights and all the way that uh, yeah. he did that. I took some pointers. All right, so we got the Deadpool dynamic stand. Let's go to. So do you have, do you have a smaller base? You have a smaller base, a, a custom, a custom base for him. I just stuck him on a Star Wars one. Oh, okay. I couldn't find some of my. Uh, you know the one thing that I'm actually glad about this figure, Craig, is that the uh, sword holder is actually magnetic. Yes, very cool. So, so actually, that's a good point. A good starting point is I take that off if I'm using this. So. Yeah, because you can't. Yeah, you can't get that on there with that because it block it blocks it. Right. So let's go two pistols. So we're gonna switch out the katana grip. Okay. So. Well, Man, I remember. That. That I got to open up my box and get the other pistol hand out. Okay. I remember there was a big controversy whenever this first came out about the uh, sleeves uh, shredding. Oh yeah. That was a big deal. All right, so I got my Deadpool box here. I actually had to go to store my uh, the storage that me and uh, George share, so I could pull these boxes, these boxes out of there. All right. Captain Deadpool, sexy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I actually get to see that being a uh, the, his theme song. <laughs> Yeah, fucking Deadpool. All right, so I, I just was moving this around. It didn't really intend this, but a very simple, cool pose. Looks like he's... Uh, now let's put you on the big screen. There we go. I'll just lift it up where you can see a little bit better. But see, I'm looking for my other gun hand. All right. So let's just a cool. So you could do that same thing with twisting, like he's looking around a corner, maybe bring this gun on a little bit. Yeah. This one out, you know, that, oh, lift the stand, then put the weight on it and it'll stay, stay put. Right. You know, you know, honestly, the one cool thing that a lot of people don't know about a lot of these accessories that come with these things is that the amount, the amazing amount of detail that goes into the weapons. Like you can actually pull the, mag oh, yeah. the magazine yep. out of the gun. The gun actually slides, mm -hmm. slides back and you can actually see the bullet. The round in there. Yep. yep. Chamber, which is freaking amazing. Yep. Very right. cool. All right. So, so we my get, angle of the camera, but yeah, we you got can to get that type of effect. Okay. And what you'd want to do is like right. tweak until the sight line was right. I have to come around here to see what y'all are seeing. All right. There we go. But you can give him that peeking around the corner vibe with just yeah, two we pistols. Got, we got one, one gun out, one gun in. There you go, kind of like that. All right, so the two pistols. So we got the dynamic stand. So, again, with the. Something dynamic. 
pleather, I don't know how long I would want to keep him on this crab claw. Uh, anything, anything that involves bending of the knees right now at this point, I would, I would probably, <laughs> I would probably be against and just you know maybe like bend the knees like the very bare minimum, right? So yeah. the head tear. Mine haven't separated, but I haven't had any stress on it whatsoever. He's been up in the cabinet, just kind of static. So just trying to do something that you could do with the dynamic stand since it's sold with it that uh, would do. So just a flat straight thing here. So what I'm going to do is you want to hold at the base here so that you don't uh, strip the screw out. Come forward with it. You might want to do this without him on it so you don't drop it. But what I'm going to do is kind of make an S shape with the stand like so. Yeah, I got you. Small flex there. So what you want to do is to get him kind of at a 45 degree angle on his back. And again, I'm just making this up as I go. So, all right. So let's give him a little bit of waist, waist twist, <laughs> waist, 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 can't talk. Little bit of twist here. Again, the, uh, Fabric here is telling me don't do that, so I'm not going to do it too much. Don't do little, it, Robert, Don't do it. A <laughs> little bit of knee bend here. See, here you go. How about this? Like I think, like I think I nailed that pretty good. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Okay. That's kind of got the OS shootout thing going. Damn these freaking knee pads, man. Yeah. So I was going to go for the where he's like blasting somebody. Like this, you got to kind of give him a little bit of an ab crunch. And maybe you turn both of them a little bit to the side, like so. Turn his head to match that. He is so not articulate. <laughs> yeah, so here, how about something like that? How about something like this? Yeah, very nice. I like that. See, look at look at look at this, Craig. We've only been posing for what, 47 minutes already? You're a pro, man. You're making me look bad. I'm feeling it. I feel it in my soul. <laughs> but again, wherever your guns are going, you want your sight line and you got that right. Yep. Yep. You got that exactly right. Yep. So again, he's uh, restricted here. So you can ab crunch him a little bit. You just want to watch, you know, what you got in the back here. My, mo my mom would be so proud of me right now. <laughs> But uh, yeah, like that type of vibe. Uh, yeah, I like, I like that. Oh shit, man! See now, yeah. this, see now, this is the problem. Like, I feel like you're giving me too many. See, like now, like the wheels are spinning. Like, okay, like before, I was very closed-minded with this because I was like afraid of you know damaging the you know damaging the figure because again, right. you like you said, you have to know the limits of the figure. So of the figure, right? You know. And, and I'm always afraid. And you, I mean, any hot toy collector knows that, you know, these things are somewhat on the delicate side. So again, you don't, you have to be careful. So it's like, now that we're doing this and I'm kind of seeing like what we can get away with and what we can't get away with, it's actually starting to make me feel like, okay, I think this pose might be cool, but you know, let me see if I can do it this way. Like it's opening up my mind to, to endless possibilities. Right. Like, I'm Dr. Strange. I'm seeing 14, one point, uh, four, 14 million, 3000 and something different out. out <laughs> Possible out. futures. But, but there's <laughs> only one that keeps the knee pads from tearing. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have the go backwards thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> time exactly. Time stuff. But you can already see in mine, like in the waist here, you know, this is looking a little stretched out and all. Yeah. So he's one of the few pictures of uh, this and the first Ant-Man were two that I was like, mm -mm. yeah, again, it's the, it's those pleather, it's those pleather suits. Same material. Yep. Yeah. So if it's mine, I'm, you know, and I'm displaying, I'm going with that more, you know, he's drawing the pistol, one katana out, you know, type five. Uh, you could do the, let me just show one with the katanas real quick. You don't have to copy if you want, but I was showing something else you could do with it. I kind of actually like him with, with both gun, with both guns out. Yeah, I, I like the look. Because you he's still gonna, got, you got gonna, the- He's gonna the hang out with his guns out. <laughs> right. 
again, like I know this pace, I know this base, this uh, this pose is actually going to be really difficult to keep. You know, because you actually, for the pose that I have him in right now, you actually really do need the base. So when when rethinking this, I am probably going to have to figure out how to pose him um, without the base, or see if I can find a smaller base, kind of like the Star Wars one that you have that that works that takes up yeah. the base. The dynamics are so huge just because of the gravity of it. Yeah, from uh, tipping, they take up a lot of real estate. So. So throwing the two katanas in there, you could do something as simple as, you know, crossing like this. But again, that's yeah. To me, to, yeah, to me that's kind of boring. That's kind of boring. It's boring, exactly. It says, so, "Hey, you're not fucking creative at all." Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So just a little bit of a waist twist. Let's uh, pull this one up and maybe flex the shoulder out a little bit. Let's go the opposite direction with the head. Maybe this shoulder back a little bit. Like so. Maybe just a step forward with his right, right leg. Again, you're just trying to sell weight, you know, not that he's just standing yeah. there like if he's if he looks bored, you look, you know, it's boring to look at. So you can, since you got the crotch grabber thing, you could even do it like he's in motion, you know, this foot stepping up, or maybe this one's yeah. planted and this one's stepping up. You know, something, whoop. Okay, whoop, come down. There we go. So something like that is a much more interesting yeah, to my know. eye to look at then just you know I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't know what it is I I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling the like I said I'm feeling the guns more than the than yeah. the swords I feel the guns can tell more of a story than the swords I agree and that's just that's just, that, that's just my opinion so yeah. I, you know I agree I agree like I want to do a Deadpool with like a gun instead of straight like he's holding it to the side he's yeah. holding it to the kill shot <laughs> Going uh, gangster style there. <laughs> so anyway, it's just another option. So you want to move to Iron Man? Yeah, let's uh, let's get to the piece of resistance. Piece de resistance. Let's get to that Iron Man. So what what Iron Man are you are you using? This is the diecast Mark Seven. Okay, so I am. Now my diecast Mark Seven is still in the box, unfortunately. So I haven't had the chance yet to take it out because I still need to do the review on it. So the only Iron Man that I currently have out of the box in my collection is the um, the Mark the Mark Fifty. So yes. we're gonna go ahead and do that. This is still diecast, so we can yes. still probably get the same posability. Yeah. I'm hoping. So I own that one, and uh, all most of the diecasts are very similar, and you know they have some slight. Uh, you know, some are a little bit better than others, but they're all basically the same. I feel, I feel with the die cast, to be honest with you, that I, that it's like, I feel like there's more, um, what you would call like liquid courage with it because you don't have to bend, you don't have to work. You could bend the knees and not worry about it. Like, yes, like yes. Work, like breaking or anything like that. Exactly. A little yeah. bit more, more rough with your, with your posing with this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very popular figure. I'm actually not going to use this at the moment. So to show how uh, rough I am with mine. So when the Mark Seven came out, I actually have a video on this. I need to put up on my half ass site. It's on my personal site. The triangle of the arc reactor here would not light up in the corners. So it was a circle arc reactor under this. So the triangle wasn't right. So. Gotcha. I need to kind of dress it up a little bit, but I literally took a Dremel and. Yeah. You hit the corner, the corners of it so you can get the yeah. light effect out of it. Yeah. So shows See, you how scared I am. I, I, I give you credit for that because I know how much the Ironmans are 
especially, especially the die cast ones, you couldn't fucking pay me enough money to try to even go at that thing with the Dremel. I even, <laughs> I'm even scared to look at it. Right. I probably crushed the resale value of it, but it made me happy. So it just drove me nuts that I'm like going, yeah, it's a triangle, you know, glass. Why did you not make the arc tractor triangle? All right. So, uh, I have the, uh, what they call the reindeer games thing on here, but all right. So what you see a million and one times in people's display. Yeah. Is they put the arm out with the propulsor blast. That's it. Yeah. Right. It's like, he's waving high at you. That's it. That's all he's doing. It's like, hey guys. Right. So Iron Man figures do not articulate here, but if you pull up, yeah, 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 but yeah, it pulls, it pulls up, but you can yeah. bend the torso. Almost all of them pop there. Yeah. So just give a little bit of twist this way. Tweak this arm out. Turn his head to that. All right, so you got to watch with the Iron Man that these. I got to pull out. I got. I guess I should pull out my repulsor hands. All right, so let me open that up. Yeah, I got a closed fist and a repulsor, but I can put both repulsors on. I don't, have, I, don't have, I don't even have a repulsor hand out. I just got fists. I'm fisting. <laughs> All right. So um, with the Iron Man, you have to watch on like yeah. here when you're bending the legs right. that they don't catch underneath this paint here as you come back. And uh, also on these shoulder pieces, they'll pull out. Also, if I remember right, yeah, the shoulder will actually pull out here. So if you pull out the shoulder here to get more uh, get more articulation out of it, yeah, yeah more range of, of uh, motion there, then you want to push this back in to cover that up whenever you're done. Wrong hand. Wrong hand. So uh, again, the the joints like what I was talking about with cap. It has a certain point you want to rotate to right here to be able to get that fully up and more of a 90 degree here. Okay, so we've got up, twist, twist a little bit, bending of the knee a little bit, hand out like that, and up and kind of. So again, from just the static here, all I did is pull this out. Rotate till I get this up and then at a 90 degree forward and then him looking down that sight line. And you can take this arm, pull that all the way in. Oh yeah, I got to pull. Okay. So I was trying to do and it was restricted. So I pulled this out a little bit. Yeah. So you got kind of, kind of something like this going on. Yep. Yep. Did you hear me? Uh, I know you were looking for the piece. Oh, yeah, I got you can it. pull got these it. sockets of the arms yeah. out. They come out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It gives you the larger. Socket to me, baby. Yep, yep. So I don't know why this is not getting up where I want. So just, just a, so just a quick, um, a quick uh, FYI. Um, so me and Craig don't live in the best areas to where we actually put the batteries mm. in some of these Iron Mans because unfortunately. Um, the batteries corrode. So if it's not lit up or anything, don't get disappointed. We don't put the batteries in there because we don't actually want it destroying the figure. Hey, George is in the chat. Hefe! What's up, George? What's up, Hefe? <laughs> of course he would come. Of course he would come in on this part. The freaking guy is like the guy. The, the guy's Tony Stank. <laughs> he's an Iron Man. He's an Iron Man, <laughs> an Iron Man fanatic. So there's two ways to go here. You can go all the way, you know, torquing the tor torso this way, or you can go this way, you know, to where your the hips are more squared out. Let's see yeah. which way I like. <laughs> George just replied the stankiest. <laughs> <laughs> the stankiest. It'll stink. So hey guys, if you um also while we're while while George while George is here, um Tomorrow he's dropping his um, hunt video that we did when we were in Orlando. So my at the end of my video, I'm basically setting it up to where I'm like, hey, guys, you need to go watch George's video because he bought something epic. And it's so epic to the fact that he had to have a comic book shop 
actually deliver it to his house because it wouldn't fit in his car. Nice. So tomorrow morning, you guys need to go check out that video. You will not be disappointed. It's definitely the, the you see, and that's why I like doing hunts with other people because you get to see my perspective and then you get to see somebody else's perspective of the stores that mm. we're going to. And I act just as stupid on my videos as I do on other people's videos. So I'm sure, I'm sure there'll be a, there'll be a lot of laughs. You're huge on Ninja Turtles. I saw the other day. Oh, oh what? Tur oh, tur the, the turtle dick. Yeah. Tur listen, turtle dick is a turtle dick is a thing. People. Okay. Turtle dick is a thing. And everybody will find out more about <laughs> turtle dick tomorrow night when we do the, uh, when we do the geek show. Cause, um, live with me in my room, OG geeks going to be here tomorrow. And he's nice. sitting next to me, and we can explain to you guys anything you want to know about Turtle Dick. Okay, <laughs> so I kept hearing you say that, and then I saw it on your last hunt. Oh, I was like, ah. Okay. Well, you no, know, it's funny because it looks like it, it's supposed to be a tail. Totally, totally. But it looks like a dick. It totally, absolutely. All right, so we're good here with the uh, you know the weights. Yeah, okay, I like, I, I like this man. I, I, George, that just sounds wrong. LOL. <laughs> Listen, you want tur you want turtle dick? You know where to find it. I'm just saying. Oh, go to OG Geek's channel. Listen, listen. OG Geek is running a giveaway right now for hitting 4,000 subscribers. So you guys need to go comment on that video. Make sure you just leave the emoji as your comment of a turtle and an eggplant, and he'll get it. <laughs> so we open the show with America's ass, and we're closing it with. Yeah, now we're closing it with turtle dick. Turtle dick. Yeah. So. <laughs> All bases covered. So weight distribution I, here is okay. I like, I like this man, and and I get and I got it, and I got to tell you something, Craig. Um, you know how we were just talking about how we need the stands for some of the for some of the figures. Mm -hmm. There's so much weight in the base of mm -hmm. Iron Man because yes. from the waist down, it's all die cast. Yes. And oh. We're going to talk about that subject in a second too about diecast. Don't get I, that. That's a that's a hot topic, you know, with, with 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 me, which we'll talk about that in a minute. But there's so much weight in the base that you don't even in the legs and everything that you don't even really need the base mm -hmm. to pose Iron Man because I got him standing right now without the base, and I, I actually love this freaking pose that I yep. got him in right now, which is which is awesome. Yep, yep, yep. When you move the legs forward, you want to pull these little flaps. Yeah, the flat, yeah, the, oh. yeah, the flaps come out so they don't uh, right. They don't catch. So originally, the way I had him posed in my in my display, I had him posed where he was straight up and he was flying, and mm -hmm. I had that extra back piece. There's like an extra back piece that that come that comes out. It's like giving him like wings or right. something like that. And I had all the extra blasters on him too, so he had his hands out like that. I'm looking at that now, and I'm looking at this, and I'm saying to myself, what the fuck was I thinking posing him like that? This shit is, like, way fucking better. And, right. it, and it's cooler, too, because, like some people say, less is more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I think because of all the gadgets and stuff that, that and all the attachments that Iron Man comes with, I think keeping it simple like this for Iron Man is great because it's sleek, it's classic, it's sexy, you know, it, it's, it, it's just great. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Sometimes when you put all those extras on, I think you just lose sight of the Iron Man character. Itself. It gets like gaudy, you know, yeah. from the, yeah. the beauty of the design of it. Yeah, exactly. Sick mansion. I don't use any of my, any of my stands on my figures, only Dr. Strange because of his floating pose. Well, if mm -hmm. anybody knows about Dr. Strange, it's Craig. So, <laughs> Listen, we're, we're, I'm gonna get a hashtag going on your page, bro. You better watch it. People are gonna start comment, commenting. Uh, hella, hella, they're gonna put a helicopter in an eggplant. Right. Nice. So go watch his next video, and in his comments, you need to put a, an emoji of a helicopter and an eggplant. <laughs> OG's got the turtle. I got the helicopter. You got helicopter dick. You got turtle dick. Everybody's gonna have dicks. I'm just saying. I don't know what yet, but everybody's gonna have them. <laughs> Too funny. Nathan Too funny. I'm buying my first hot toy next week. Uh, hey, whatever hot toy you buy, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. So what I did with mine is uh, also the the sockets and the hips. I already have it out. I 
thought the hips popped out. Don't break it. Don't break it. <laughs> yeah, they click out. There we go. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting right now for you just to be like, oh shit. Um, Pal. Hey, hey guys, I'll be back in a second. Honey, just, the super glue. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, oh well. All right, so I could get the the left leg out. Oh yeah, see, I like that. I like that. Yeah, but you probably need the base in order to get his left leg out like that far to. to oh fuck me. So well, all you want to do is just keep twisting until you get that balance. Real important whenever you got the feet like such to turn this back one. Yeah. Uh, perpendicular. Yeah. yeah, I gotcha. And it gives stability. And the newer die cast, I don't think this one's was great. There was one of the newer die casts that was really great on the uh, ankle yeah. articulation. Uh, let me see. It might have been like the 85 or. Yeah. But uh, anyway, you would just want to look at lines. So if you if you see here, he's looking above his target line. So you just want to bring that head down. I always find that like lower sight lines make it look like they're more sinister looking. So yeah. See, I can't get that. See, I can't get that with this one. Oh wait. Uh yes. That's uh, let me see. split screen us. Yeah, I'm going to. I just Listen, I'm trying to make myself look as less as an ass as possible while doing this. So I'm trying to save face. <laughs> so I got sorry. I'm looking over to see the screen. Yeah, I like it. Looks good. All right. So if you if you're gonna have him, yep. No hands. Yep. Excellent. Yeah, I like that. I like this pose. I like this pose a lot. I fuck it. He's going back in the detox like this. There you go. There you go. All right, so grab that Bucky behind you. Let's do something with him. Yeah, do something with Bucky? Yeah, Bucky's just kind of like, everybody else is getting played with but me. <laughs> so I want to see now that you've had your inspiration tonight, what you're going to do with it. What am I going to do with Bucky? You're the meaning in my life. You're the inspiration. <laughs> no, I don't know, own this one to know what okay. he's capable so of. Bucky, Bucky is fabric. So, um, this put it how you had it the other night. Well, so the other night I had, so actually the other night I had him like this with his gun, right. with his gun up like that. Um, you know what? Let's, let's, let's see. Oh, you and your fucking Wakandan arm. Jesus Christ. Gotta get back on camera. Sorry. So we'll, we'll go up with the crotch grab a little bit. There we go. So look at me, mom. I'm posing. <laughs> All right, do this. Take his. Uh, oh man, you just fuck. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, Take his got... assault rifle arm and do like a flex like this, like where it's like it, straight up, like bend it in a straight ninety. Yeah, straight okay. 90, and then maybe okay. out a little bit. So far because of the butt stock. Okay. So. All right, now have him looking the opposite. Actually, hold on a second, because you can actually shorten the butt stock with him. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. All right, now have him looking the opposite direction. And Both. then give... Then oh. give his left arm kind of a you know bowed up uh, like he's flexing. Sun's out, guns out. There you go. Nah. Uh, like a down position like this, like he's oh the arm. Yeah. And you can play around with the waist or whatever there. Come on, crotch grabber, grab that guy's crotch. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like that? There we go. How about that? Now we're fucking. Oh, me fell, you fucker. There you go. I had it and you fucking embarrassed me. You failed me, Bucky. Fucker. I'm gonna put you back in ice. Twist him a little bit 
to his left at the waist, just a little bit. There you go. Yep. There we go. Now we're in business. Yep. Now see how that's selling attitude. Look at, look at that shit. Hey, that's the fucking tits. Right. That, that's right. it right there. That's yep. like, hey, hey, motherfucker, come at me with this gun. I'll show right. you what I'm working with. He's yeah. bowed up and ready to go. So see, just a couple little simple tweaks and you sold attitude with that. What is that? Jeff Morris. Bucky's arm needs a WD-40. <laughs> Who has a Hot Toys of Batgirl Arkham Knight? Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't collect DC. I like Fat Man, but... Nathan's Gaming. I'm buying the Alice Cooper Hot Toy. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know they made one. George, hey, now that looks cool. That looks good. See? Yep. Craig, Craig taught me how to be a poser in, in less than an hour and 10 minutes. Virtual, <laughs> uh, virtual thing. Virtual. Uh, I don't know if we can give shouts out to other channels or whatever, but there's, go ahead, a, go ahead, go ahead, man. Knock there's a guy named Terry that uh, is, uh, I don't watch too, too much of Sideshow stuff, but uh, it's a guy named Terry. I'm not sure if he's still doing it, but it's called How to Be a Poser. Oh, yeah, on, Sideshow, on Sideshow's channel. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've seen that, yeah. He, he goes one. by Rook at the Sideshow Freaks. Uh, yeah, he, I think his name's Terry. Yeah, he did one the other day that I saw where he was actually posing um, the Thanos from Infinity War and the Mark mm -hmm. and the Mark Fifty, and that was actually really cool. Yeah, that gave me that gave me inspiration for if I wanted if I have ever have the space to yeah. do a um, you know to do like a diorama like what you had with your Avengers scene. Yeah. You know, that would be a cool scene to re to reenact. He usually does one pose, and at the end of him, he'll do like, uh, you know, the turntable and give you a few yeah. other options that you could uh, mimic. So, uh, recommend him. He's a great guy. King Dingling pose the Wick figure. Well, the Wick figure, the Wick figure's in the cat in the cabinet right now. So I'm not going to get up and uh, get that. But now that I have an idea of posing these freaking figures, I'm going to be putting up a bunch of fucking glamour shots on my Instagram page. Nice. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, stay tuned because I am uploading the fucking shit out of these things. So they're <laughs> going to be everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> All you're going to see in your stream is what's popping, what's popping, what's popping. Bro, get a fucking life, okay? We know. You know how to post figures now. I want to share it with the world. I want to share my gift. <laughs> he enabled me. He gave me the power to believe. Yep, yep, yep. The main thing is uh, what we said the other night, don't be scared of them. Be yeah. wise, you know, in the feedback of the material and, you know, what it's telling you that it's capable of. But don't be afraid of them. They're so, there to be enjoyed. So while we got a quick while we got a quick minute, I do want to go back to the Iron Man for a second. This is my dilemma, what I was getting ready to talk about with the die cast. If you're going to call – okay, hold on. I got to clear the way so people can see the aggravation in my face. If you're going to put the label die cast on the fucking box, then the whole thing needs to be fucking die cast. I guess. Not the whole, not just from the waist down, the whole upper torso. Everything needs to be die cast. Okay. You're making people spend money for something that you're calling die cast on the box, except it's from the waist down. I want the fucking upper torso too. Iron this one feels yeah. like metal in the arms. But it's but it's not though. It's Iron Man. Iron Man. So here, so here. So the funny thing is with this Iron with this Iron Man is that the the shoulder pad has that die cast. Has, it feels like it's die cast. But the arm is plastic. The chest is plastic. The head is plastic. You know the waist. The waist and everything is plastic. But then from the waist down to the legs. Mm. It's all die cast. Yeah, the bicep area of this one is uh, die cast, but then everything else, I agree yeah. with you. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna put the die cast label on it, then make sure you follow you follow through on it. You fuck. Jesus. I'll second that. We spend a lot of money on this stuff as it as it is. You know, because on it, honestly, for, and I don't give a shit. I'll tell people how much I pay for stuff. I don't care. It's not. I'm an open book. I'm transparent. The fucking Mark Seven, I paid like almost five hundred bucks for it. Okay, because out of all the Iron Man suits, the Mark Seven is my favorite. Is my favorite suit, mm. and it says diecast. So I haven't had a chance to take it out of the box yet. You bet your ass. From the waist down, 
it's going to be die cast, but not the upper torso. And it's like, if you're going to go all the way, go all the way. Don't, don't just, you know, you can put like half plastic, half die cast on, on the box. And I would be okay with that. But saying that something is fully die cast is not, not the way to go. Right. No, you're fucking crack, damn it. Well, everything from waist down is what counts. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about? Uh, have you ever seen like the older 100% plastic? What do you think yeah, about yeah, diecast versus them? So I, I, honestly, I have to I have to say from the die from the diecast to the plastic, I feel that the diecast is gives you more posability. Mm. You can be you can be a little bit more strenuous. Yes. Yes. With, Whereas the pl- whereas the plastic, if you turn it just enough, there's the slight chance that it could break. Mm-hmm. And then and then you're at, and then you're SOL at that point. On some of the forums, they were like, "Well, they're painted, and if you're not touching them, you can't really tell the difference." And I'm like, yeah. "It's just something about the quality of well, well, you, you know moving it around. It's just well, yeah. daylight and dark to me." And you can also tell the difference too between the plastic. And the and the die cast because the die cast is all heavy weighted at the base, mm-hmm. so you yeah. can pick pick one up and feel the difference between the two. Yeah, yeah, the plastic one you feel like it would just topple. Yeah, like the plastic one, I feel like I could fucking probably throw it pretty far. The die cast one, I probably <laughs> I probably couldn't get get much behind it. You do more damage with the die cast. <laughs> so, what do you um? What do you got coming up? You got anything coming up this week? Yes. Uh, George actually inspired me to do the Ultra Sabers, which I know you're not into, but oh, the mystery. Oh, the myth. The, the well, I'm into yeah. mystery boxes. If you've ever watched the episode. yeah, yeah, that's what I got. Uh, it's in the other room. Yeah, but uh, I'm waiting for my cousin to tell me that he's going to participate in the the opening skit for it. So I'm kind of on pause for for doing it. I got what I think will be a funny skit. And XM uh, Hulk transformation is actually in Kenner, which is an hour away from me. So, guessing it'll be here Monday or Tuesday. What Got a it? funny skit for that too. George is asking if your uh, Ultra Saber box came in. Yeah, it's in the other room currently, but so, I'm not open it until I get it on camera. So, are you gonna are you gonna do like a helicopter dick with the light with the light saber? Right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to do something new. <laughs> I, I, you don't, you don't understand. I'm giving you gold right now. Okay? Right. I'm right. giving you gold. You take the helicopter dick and you run with it. You market it. You plug it. You make shirts. You make shirts. the t-shirts. Right. You, right. You, you capitalize on it while helicopter dick is hot. The swing ring. And ne- anybody that's never seen my uh, channel is like, going, well, what are they talking about? <laughs> yes. okay. Um, I would, I <laughs> The link I left the link in the description below for um, Craig's channel. So after the live stream's over, make sure you go check it out. Make sure you go check out the um, the Doctor Strange review that he did, and you guys will understand the uh, the helicopter deck and the schling ring, the schlong ring, or whatever it's called. Swing, swing ring, you're right. <laughs> and you guys will understand what we're talking about. Also, go follow him on Instagram and Facebook. Um, half fast reviews, not half ass, half fast. Half fast. But I like, but I like half fast because if you say it fast enough, it sounds like half ass. Half fast, all right. right. <laughs> That's what I do. I do half ass reviews. You do half fast reviews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was me being facetious. So uh, George says, "Nice." He's still waiting on his lightsaber mystery box to come in. Yeah, I'd actually ask him the other day how long they're taking, and uh, literally got the tracking number the next day. So the premise of that one, the opening, will be my uh, cousin actually works for the postal service, so. He's going to be delivering it, and I answer the door as the uh, geek who's kind of over the top, you know, full full dress and all that, and uh, he doesn't know quite what to think of me. Oh, you're going to have, like, the Star Wars robe on and everything? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, quote, quote movie lines and all that, and he's like, oh, this guy's on drugs, you know, type thing. Oh, that's going to be awesome. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully. All right, guys. Well, it is about that hour. So, Craig, thank you so much for coming on and taking the time with me and and teaching me how to pose my hot toys. Um, you know, the funny thing is, is like you only recently started following me on on Instagram, obviously, because we linked. We, you know, we just linked up. But if you go back to some of my later posts where I'm posting stuff about hot toys, 
there's a few people in there that left comments that like, bro, you really need to learn how to pose your shit. <laughs> <laughs> now I finally think I finally think I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to rise above above that, and people are gonna be like, yeah, nice fucking pose, man. Yep, yep, yep. I feel like I feel like I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna get over that hurdle. I'm gonna get over the hot toy hurdle. The hot toy, hot toy hurdle. <laughs> I think most people are just afraid of it. So yeah, be adventurous. And, and that's right, George. George is saying he was one of them. He was one of them. He's like, bro. He's like, you need to really learn how to freaking pose your shit. And I'm like, dude. I'm like, you know as well as I do how delicate these things are. But after doing this with you, you've instilled. A, a confidence in me that I feel like I can go out now and I can be America's ass of hot toys. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> America's ass of hot toys. That's how I want to be known as America's ass of hot toys. I don't want to be known as a one six scale Lord or any of that other, you know, those monikers. I want to be America's, America's ass, ass of hot toys. I think you're already there. I want to be the ass of hot toys. <laughs> You're on your way, Seth, man. Print the t-shirt. Yeah, not even the face. I just want to be the ass. <laughs> so, Craig, thank you so much for your time, man. I really appreciate it. Um, I really appreciate everyone jumping in the chat and commenting. Um, I really enjoyed doing this. And you know what? We'll do it again. We'll do it again too. We'll do it again soon because I've got more yes. hot toys that I haven't even gotten to yet that are just sitting in the boxes. And I feel so ashamed of myself that they're just sitting in the boxes. You know, there's, they're like, I need air. I need to breathe, asshole. Let me out of here. <laughs> so, guys, again, I left the link in the description below for Craig. Go check out his channel, Half Fast Reviews. As far as we go, here at MCE, we appreciate the love and the respect and all the other good shit that you guys do with us. So, again, like, comment, share. Do whatever the fuck you want. Just subscribe. Just saying. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up. So, until next time. You, oh, oh, I get to say George's line. Keep it marvelous. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Thanks, thanks, everybody. Guys. Take care. And we are out, America. <laughs> <laughs>